<gasps> I'm back to this game. Yeah, it's just so wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. Where was I? <laughs> oh. Mm, Jubileus. It's been too long since I've actually played this game. Oops. Stop telling me this! No, no, stop it! <laughs> oh dear lord. Jubileus. Not lord. Jubileus. <laughs> Alright, apparently I'm here. Uh, uh, I would comment on this fat sailor guy who obviously hasn't seen any type of female interaction in years, but... I'm more interested in commentating on the new generation of... Wow, thank you. I guess this was when, uh, <laughs> uh, when Pokemon didn't have a balance. Anyways, the new 6th generation that was announced that I haven't talked about yet because I haven't recorded when it was announced at all. <laughs> yeah, thank you. That helps a lot. Anyways, uh, that was kind of unexpected. The announcement came a year after the previous Pokemon game, which is weird because it's usually two or three years. And I'm sorry, I'm a little bit sniffly. Isn't everybody today? Anyways, that was a bit of a surprise because, yeah, Pokemon's coming out next year. That's a thing that's gonna happen. <laughs> But, overall, people are either disappointed, or ecstatic, or disappointed then ecstatic, about dogs. Dogs, really? Really dogs! <laughs> I can hear them, but you can't. I will talk about that in a bit. Uh, maybe not. Anyways, um... But my thoughts. <laughs> That's what I wanted to talk about. Uh, where should I start? Well, let's start with the most obvious thing. <sighs> Obviously not that obvious. <laughs> I guess the region. That was a thing that we kind of saw. And yes, it did kind of look like France. Everything about it looked French. And it's not surprising that they're doing things other than Japan. My favorite thing, though, is that people keep saying, Oh, maybe it's gonna be France, Britain, and some other country. Even though, you know, Generation 5 was one country, and Generations 1 through 4 were one country, I don't think they're going to do multiple countries. They probably won't, because... Well, it would make less games, and then they make less money, and then... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But it's probably just gonna be- SHUT UP! It's probably just gonna be France. And let's face it, it's probably just gonna be the one country it's based off of, and that's okay. Because I hate French people, mostly, unless you're a French viewer, in which case I love you more than anything. Uh, <laughs> but France is a beautiful country, and I will be the first to admit that. It's just sometimes. Sometimes, the French people I meet are the snarkiest people I've ever seen. <laughs> and that counts myself. Hello, random fisherman. But, a French region should be good. I miss my experience bar. Oh dear lord, how I miss the experience bar. Uh... Now, let's see, another thing I can talk about is... <gasps> Pokemon's finally in 3D! Even though, you know, they came out with like four or five games that were in 3D previously. It was five, wasn't it? Um, Stadium, Stadium 2, XD Coliseum, and Battle Revolution. Yeah. 
Even though, you know, we're blatantly ignoring these games because nobody really liked them. Uh, so yeah, what we really should be saying is it's the first 3D handheld game. <laughs> but, yeah. Yeah. I can't believe they're doing two, two separate games again. And they're probably going to be doing a third again. That's more disappointing than anything. <laughs> I mean, if they do a Black and White 2 only better, with some kind of Pokemon Z, I'd be fine with it. But, for the most part, we don't need three different versions of the game, with the third one being released the next year. No. No, if you're gonna release three versions, just release them at the same time, please. So that battle just happened. Anyways. Uh, ah. Another thing is the plot. We don't know about the plot. Everybody's saying that it's pro- I don't know what he just said because I looked away from the screen. Everybody's saying that it's probably something related to DNA. At least that I've heard. If you have some different theory, please tell me, tell me, tell me, tell everybody! But, as far as I know, because of some little squiggle that looks like a... a bleh, strand of DNA, Everybody's thinking it has to do with genetic alteration, which is interesting, sure, if it hadn't been done before. <laughs> and people are probably thinking, when has it been done before? Well, the Colosseum and XD games were to some extent based off of that, and there are... Should I? Should I? Probably. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's see what I can get... <gasps> Whoops! <laughs> whoops, whoops, whoops. <laughs> I feel stupid now. I feel so stupid now. Just so, so, so stupid. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> okay, I have to know. Um, that's not the right thing. What are Bubba Zor's moves now? Stats. Uh, let's see. Can I see your moves? There we are. Yeah, that's useless. <laughs> I'm sorry, Bubazor. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Bubazor. Uh, I was talking about the sixth generation, wasn't I? Um, the plot, the plot, the plot. That's what I was talking about. Genetic alteration. Anyways, Mewtwo and Genesect were both based off of that thing, which they could have done stories about them, but nope, they decided not to. We're just gonna leave them as legendaries that don't really have any explanation other than one place in the first generation and remakes. Uh, hello, lady. But if they do genetic alteration, I guess that would be fine. As long as they make it interesting. And, you know, give us memorable characters. Bye, Nurse Joy. Bye, Derp Chansey. But, I guess, one of the things I wish for more, most in the plot of Generation 6, in my weird rambling rant sort of thing, tangent, is that I kind of wish... I kind of wish that they would include the option to make gyms optional. I know it sounds weird, but I kind of am tired with the fact that you have to battle the gyms to complete the main story. Why not separate the story and the gyms into two distinct things? I'm serious, why not? Okay, I'm guessing I finished everything down there. Let's get... Where's Roxanne? There she is. Up in here. I guess that's kind of what I'm wishing for, is that they make the gyms optional. <laughs> that's the one thing. The one thing I wish for. What else can I talk about that I haven't talked about yet? Because I keep thinking of new things, and then I keep getting off of what I'm supposed to be talking about. And that's getting on my nerves. 
Hello, magician. Goodbye, magician. Anyways. Excuse me. Uh, where am I? Where am I? Hello? Oh, oops. No, I'm not seasick. I'm trying to think of other things to talk about before I talk about the most blatantly obvious thing there is. I guess I can talk about the... This is a horrible, horrible, horrible thing to do. Uh, the trailer, I guess. That's the thing. Um, well, there were a few things I noticed in the trailer. The first, obviously, is not the mirror. It's the fact that the guy's glasses came off, which kind of proves that right now, at least, they're two separate models. And I know that everybody's thinking, oh, because he's looking in the mirror, we might have customizable trainers. Nope. Nope. I'm thinking that because the glasses are technically a separate model, that we might have customizable trainers, but we might not. I kind of hope we do, but we might not. It might just be because they haven't, you know, finished the designs of the trainers. Yeah, shut up. Excuse me. Uh, hello? Uh, uh, what else can I talk about? Um, also the fact that he was kind of roller skating. People have been talking about that one. And yes, I do think they might do roller skating. Why? Simple. Because a bike would be too hard to animate. <laughs> Uh, without making its own separate physics, and that would be too much for Pokemon. Think about it. Every 3D... Oh, thank you. That's very helpful. Every 3D game that's... Fe oh, come on! Well, Roxanne's dead. Roxanne's still alive. Uh, every 3D game that features a bike has some convoluted way of riding it. Or the bike just looks weird. <laughs> like, it just doesn't look like it's actually a bike. Yes, I would. Poor McFlame. Uh, poor Butterfree. <laughs> but it just... It would make more sense because from a technical standpoint... Not technical, uh, but programming standpoint... It's easier to do. Okay, uh, it's easier to do roller skates than it is to do a bike. And I'm fine with it. It's not like I really care if it's a bike or not, I just kind of want a fast way to travel around because the running speed isn't fast enough sometimes. Uh, there was one more thing about the trailer I wanted to mention. Oh, I remember. Uh, in this stupid little forest scene that nobody probably remembers, there was a girl following the main character. She had buns and little ribbon hair. And for some reason, that conspicuously looked like the female character of the 5th generation second games. <laughs> I'm not kidding, watch the trailer again if you didn't notice in the fourth scene. Someone that looks like whatever her name is, I think it's something like Rosa, is just, you know, strolling along following the main character. I have no idea what that means, it's probably that they're reusing hairstyles, but it might mean that she's in the game too. Oh, uh, no, I don't want to talk about this yet, no, no, I don't want to, but I don't think there's anything else I can mention. Think, 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 nope, can't think of anything. Alright, let's start about the thing that I was kind of trying to avoid until last. The Pokemon. The Pokemon that they have revealed, all six of them. Yeah, there are six, as of this video at least, as of my recording. Uh, let's start with, let's start with the starters, because that's what we start with. We'll go in order of how they're revealed. Shut up! Ugh. Ugh, stupid allergies. I keep stifling. And I sound even nasalier than I usually do now. Uh, <laughs> let's start with my... Yeah, let's start with my favorite. Of course, I'm gonna like Fennekin, because of all of those things, it looks like the most interesting one. 
And maybe I'm on the Fennekin bandwagon. I don't know if there is one. There probably is, considering how many deviant art things there have been so far. But eh, so far it's the oh hello. Uh, so far it's the only one that looks good to me. Oh, you're actually just scrubbing the deck. Okay. Anyways, it's the only one that looks good to me, and. I know that's weird to say, but yeah, it's the only one that I actually like. And then we move on to my middle favorite, I guess, would actually be Chespin, which is weird to say because I know nobody likes that one. It looks like a generic normal type rodent that you would see in the game, yes, I admit that. But that's just it, it's generic, it doesn't really have anything special going for it. I forgot where I'm supposed to be going! Uh... They could do something really awesome with that design, just how it is now. But I'm not sure what they would do. Oh, there's a Pokeball up here. Dang it. I'm not sure what they would do. I just don't know. I couldn't tell- I don't even know what it's based off of. Oh, fucking Goldines. I mean, flocking Goldines! Let's just try scratch. Scratch, scratch, scratch up in this. Ow. So anyways, um... Yeah, Chespin's kind of generic, okay? That's all I have to say about it, but it's not that bad. It's just generic and kind of hard to tell what it's supposed to be. Uh... Then there's my least favorite, and yes, this is my least favorite, is the stupid frog. I don't like Froakie. I just don't. I keep hearing people say, oh, it's so cute, I love it. I don't. I just don't. No, it's probably just gonna use poison type moves. I just don't like Froki. It looks weird to me. And it de And it definitely doesn't look cute, like people are saying. It just, no. It might be the most beautiful thing ever by the time it... I hate rap so much. By the... Uh, by the time they finish with the game, but... I just don't like it right now in its current form. It is so... Uh, hideous. That's the only thing I can describe it as. Yeah. No, I'll keep McFlame in for a little bit more. So I don't like Froki. Fennekin is probably the best one for me. And that's it. That's all I can say about the starters. Then let's move on to the next ones that are introduced. The legendary duo mascot characters of the game. Xerneas and Eveltal. Xerneas is... Pretty interesting, actually. I've seen its design multiple times. Oh, yay, I leveled up. Uh, <laughs> that's so enthusiastic. Uh, that, 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 excuse me. Uh, Xerneas is interesting looking. It does look a bit over designed, though. <laughs> like, they weren't sure what to do with it, so they just kept adding things like, oh, hey, let's give it large antlers. Oh, hey, let's put bunches of rainbow lights on its antlers. Oh, hey, let's give it sword feet, of all things. That makes sense. And,. <laughs> but I do like it. It's just, it makes no sense. Ugh, stupid Voltorbs. Voltorbs, no, Electrodes, excuse me, are the fastest Pokemon in this game. Just so you know. And they make it blatantly obvious every chance they get in this game that Electrode has the highest speed stat. Flock! Well, damn me to Inferno, what do I do now? Uh, I'll use Roxanne? Anyways. No, I'm fine. Magnemite's only electric type in this game anyways. <laughs> so that's what 
I feel about Xerneas. It's a little bit overdesigned, but I do like it. And I like Evelt Hall too, which makes it super difficult to tell which game I want with those two. But, yeah. Someday I'll figure out what I want to do. What, which one I want to buy. And then let's do the most flamboyantly, obviously, pink <laughs> Pokemon, the new Evolution. Wait, I never talked about Veltal. Oh, whoops. Oh, I'll talk about the Evolution in a bit. Anyways, um... Hello! Um... Eveltal does look interesting. Again, it's subjected to over-design, like Xerneas, but its design does make it look kind of evil. And I kind of like gothic and evil things, which is weird to say. But then Xerneas is blue, and you know, blue. Blue, 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 blue. So between Eveltal's more gothic looking look that I like and Xerneas being blue, it's kind of a tough de 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 decision for me to make. And then back to the flamboyant one, Sylveon. <laughs> the thing that nobody knows what it is. From what I can see in the trailer, it's just using normal type moves, which may say that it's a normal type. But at the same time, I can also believe that it might be a flying type, but any other type is pushing in a little too much for me. Because I don't see the thing being bug. It doesn't look like a bug to me. I don't see it being poisonous because it doesn't look like it would be toxic to me. And I don't see it as being a steel type because it doesn't look metallic enough. <laughs> so when people say, oh hey, it's steel type because of this, 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 and this, it just doesn't look like it. And it has to look like it, otherwise... Well, then everybody gets angry. I mean, think of one Pokémon that doesn't look like it belongs in its type. If you can, I'll give you cookies, because cookies are delicious. I'm lost. I want to finish this stupid boat in this episode. As the... the if, <laughs> if you couldn't tell. Anyways, then there's the final thing that I saved for the actual final. The fact that it's getting a worldwide, worldwide release, which is exciting for me because Pokemon is sort of expanded to the- what? Okay, great. Stop it! To the fact where, um, it should have a worldwide wide release, not just I'll fight you. Not just one. The only problem for me, bleh, the only problem for me is that I judge which version I want to buy based solely on the types of Pokemon that they make available in the game. And since I won't know which it version exclusives they're going to include, I don't know which game to buy. So I'm probably just gonna buy X because blue, but I might buy Y because gothic Pokemon. I don't know. Convince me. <laughs> Which one should I buy? I don't know. So yeah, that's Pokemon X and Y in a nutshell. It's a French game with Pokemon that I'm not actually sure about because they haven't released enough information about it yet. <sighs> Other than Evolutions, which I'm surprised they finally did one this generation, and I want them to do at least one more because Eevee, 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 Eevee. Okay, great. Anyways, I said I would talk about the talk, uh, barking dogs, but I won't, because that's something for another episode. I'm just gonna finish the boat. 
What? Okay, fine. What's this TM? This TM is water gun. No. Oops. What is this TM? Thunder wave. <gasps> no. What's this TM? Bubble beam. <gasps> no! Ah! What's this TM? This one is dig. <gasps> no. What's this one? This one contains bite. <gasps> no. Anything else? <gasps> What's this TM? <gasps> this one contains body slam. <gasps> no. Wait a minute. Maybe. What's this TM? <gasps> this TM contains <gasps> rest. <gasps> no. All right. Uh, that's it. Oops. This one. Yeah, sacred. Uh, only. Oh, never mind. Roxanne, here we are. Blah 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 blah. Okay, this time I'm going to not have a restless finger. And I'm gonna get rid of double slap because that's useless. Poof. Okay, what's this? <gasps> a rare candy! <gasps> That's actually somewhat useful. Damn it! <laughs> uh. Have I mentioned... Have I... Have I gotten the... Have I? Have I? I might have forgotten. Anyways, um... The... Okay, I'm going to probably... <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to heal, and then I'm going to be... Uh, oops. Damn you! Oh, can't use it. Uh... I'm going to heal, and then I'm going to end the episode, because I ran out of things to talk about, and this episode's already nearly 30 minutes long. Because I was solely talking about Pokemon X and Y. Take it easy? No. Um. Ah. Okay, I'm going to give you guys an ultimatum. I want you to leave a comment telling me what you think I should talk about in the next episode. Yeah, sure, let's do that. I'm going to put all of this in the uh, description. And this is what I want you to tell me. What should I talk about? Anything. Anything, really. I won't have limits. Just see how far I'll go before I shut up. I will talk about anything, whether it be what I think about certain Pokemon, what I think about uh, female characters in certain media. Why not? Maybe even the dogs across the street. Or even how babies are made. I won't do any limits. <laughs> Just anything. Leave anything that I should talk about. And I guess if I... If you leave enough uh, comments about it, I'll just draw different topics out of a hat. Excuse me. Yes, I completely forgot to get this. Damn it. Okay. Anyways, yeah, leave a comment about anything. And if I won't answer it, I will tell you who left the comment. Because if you leave a comment to the point where I won't answer it, you deserve you deserve a shout out from me at that point. Uh let's see. Deposit items. What do I not need? I don't need this. Uh oh, I do have the bicycle. I forgot about that. I should probably I should probably, but I probably didn't. This is a thing too, remember that. Remember that I have this uh, fossil. <laughs> this dog good, I will sell in a minute. Super potions, great ball, max potion, uh, either, either, max either, red candy, okay great. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna go sell this nugget. Anyways, if you can leave a comment, and I draw that comment out of a hat, let's say. That's how I'll decide 
what topic I'll talk about or what question I'll answer, then I will shout out why not. I want to sell, actually. Because, yeah, like I said, if you can leave a comment where I won't talk about it, Oops, no, 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 I want to sell this. Yes, thank you. Okay, if you can leave that type of comment, then please, by all means, try. Uh, it might be hilarious what you want me to talk about. It might not be. Just, like I said, leave a comment about what you want me to talk about. Also, also I want you to leave a comment about this, for now. I don't know what my sixth team members should be for this Let's Play. I don't know. Let me go get that fishing rod. Uh, I want you to tell me. What do you think my six team members should be? What do you think it should be nicknamed? I'm giving you so many things to talk about in the comments. Please, 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 please do. Because <laughs> I just want to see how messed up people will get about this. Uh, tell me which Pokemon I should use, and I'll do the same things. I'll draw the Pokemon out of the hat with the nickname and who suggested I should use it, and tell you that they suggested it. But I really need a 16 member, and I don't know. If you don't know anything about Pokemon, I will give you a list of Pokemon that I have thought of to use. And that might help you. Just look up what the Pokemon looks like and you might think of a nickname. But, yeah. <laughs> My nose is... <laughs> but, yeah. Let's get back to what I was talking about. I just want you to leave a comment about what you think I should talk about next episode and what Pokemon should take up my sixth team member. Did I heal? I think I did. Because I want this to be in I want you to be involved in this. Stupid English, how does work? Did I heal? So, yeah. In the next episode, I don't know what I'm going to talk about. You decide. See you guys then.